Hey everyone, we are back playing the Builder Tempo deck and we're in the competitive lobby up against Alila today. Uh, this is a pretty good opening hand, I think. We have money, we have ice. We have all the tools to kind of shut them down a little bit early. And Beanstalk to recover from a siphon. Plus, if we can rush out an Atlas early, that puts us in a pretty good spot. Of course, getting it off against Leela could be the tr the challenge. So we're just going to take a nice and easy for the first turn at least. And if you haven't seen this deck, it is a Wayland Rush deck that tries to put the runner into a bad situation where they're kind of left with no good choice. Oh, <laughs> that's a pretty good choice. Plasticrate down right away. So it's using the Advanceable Ice uh, to do a meat damage, which they can soak up with this if absolutely necessary, but it seems like a bit of a waste. Um, we could try and rush out a hostile early. What are the chances of them having something here? Could have inside job. I'm going to go for it, I think. If we can get it, it puts us in a really good position. And they don't have money at the moment. Four cards, so inside job is definitely a possibility, as is, you know, barrier breaker. But we're going to be able to have it if we want. Uh, I would prefer ice. So I might just advance it once more. Uh, slow play this a little bit. And let's draw one. Let's try and get ice. No ice. I want to get the advancement token on it, but I don't want to leave ourselves exposed as well. So at least by over advancing now, we can get something down. So they get a gang sign. So it's one of these Leelas. So expect HQ interface and all that kind of stuff soon. And okay, so they might be able to take the hostile. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. So they just see Beanstalk, which is fine. And they're going to bounce. HQ ice, of course. So we need to get an advancement counter on this, but get it rezzed as soon as possible. Okay. So there's the sea source at least. So we can draw, hedge, and shipment if we need to. Oak Town isn't bad, but there's a chance they'll be able to get in. So now we hope that both of these don't get bounced. Okay, they're going all in on HQ. So I think we just keep rushing. Uh, oh, damn. Of course, install and install advance. You're not allowed to four click turns. So, Leela's kind of the anti rush ID. So, we might have to be a little more careful. We can afford to res everything we need to. Okay, they're well able to avoid taking tags then. Which means the shadow isn't going to be so good. Another rogue town. That puts us in a dicier spot. Um, we'll advance it to three. Do we advance to four? What are we nervous about? Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we just score this. And if we get siphoned, we kind of live with that.
Yep. It's always a possibility. Fall guy's gone. And they get the hostile. Okay. Well, at least uh, New Angeles is gone. So, can we get the Scorch off? Let's get rid of you for the moment. So maybe we shouldn't have been as aggressive as we were, but against Leela, unfortunately, you do have to push from time to time. Oh, could use that. Okay, so back to square one again. Shadow on the inside is not much good to us. Um, put that in R&D. It's going to have to be Ice Wall on here. We could put the Wendigo on HQ, and that at least prevents siphons, things like that. It's probably the way to go. This should probably have been the first port call almost. But it was never going to help us against the, the Kang Sai and HQ interface. And they're getting themselves nicely set up. So we get a hostile, which could be okay. Um, stick it in server, see if they want to come first. Because again, we need to be able to score out and then replace whatever they uh, decide to bounce. They're just going to go archives. Getting the Hades shared. Okay, so it just means we have to be a little more careful about what we've been. We're kind of hoping to draw into a snare with any one of these scores. Casting call is actually great as well. Okay, we could rush this out pretty quick. At the moment, they don't have the money to, uh, to be able to take the tags. They don't have the new angels down. Could be okay. So, the bounce ice wall from HQ, and we'll put it right back. Now, unfortunately, if Wendy goes on the inside, that is, that's not great for us. And by not great, I mean utterly useless. Here's the source. Which, again, I'm okay with. We could cast and call this advance of, no, cast and call that is no good to us. We could go for the oak down. Cast and call, install it, advance, advance. Hoping not an inside job because everything is terrible, but yeah, let us do just that. And at least now we can get it to five advancements if necessary. Well, it will be necessary because the source is there. But for them to score, they need to be able to pay the three, be able to get in somewhere. And if they try and take this, they're going to be taking 
True tags. DDoS. All right. Sure. And we got a window go back. So now what do we want to trash of theirs? Oh yeah, we can't. So hopefully not the GFI. And in fact that could actually happen. Well, we tried. Flew too close to the sun. Uh, well timed DDoS. But I mean, outside of that, we were looking okay. So yes, it was risky, but something my opponent doesn't know is that this deck does not run Jacksons. So things weren't getting any better for us. Um, could they have gotten much worse? Probably not, but I think we had to push while we had some sort of opportunity. Uh, the DDoS into inside job was great. Uh, sure, we didn't have kill pieces in hand, but then again, we weren't overly expecting that they'd check the hand as well. Uh, maybe we should wait for snares, things like that. But I don't know. It's hard to call. Uh, no Jacksons is definitely a worrying part of this deck. Uh, let me know how you would have played this out. And now you can see the, the RNG that was coming to me as well. Uh, nothing that exciting for a while. So I don't think, I don't think our chances were getting any better. But I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, thank you for watching.